Today is going to be a great day. I am Nikki G, your host. Welcome to The Lone Doctrine, the food for thought exploration station and your place in making today better than yesterday. All month long, we've been exploring change. I've said it over and over, but change is a constant. It's something that's guaranteed in all our lives. Think about it. Have you ever gone through a day without experience change? Probably not. Even when you're in the same routine, I bet if you looked close enough, there's even small changes. No one day is the same. So why do we have this really difficult time sometimes with change? We've explored the idea throughout the month, but I wanted to close out the month and give you some exercises that will help you learn how you adapt or respond to change. We as humans tend to resist change, but when we practice embracing change or even putting change into more positive light, we then can be more able to confront the scary C-H-A-N-G-E. When you're in a safe place, I'd like for you to try out these exercises. Here's the first one. Cross your arms. Cross your arms across your chest Hold for 10 seconds, and then after those 10 seconds, immediately follow up by crossing your arms the other way. I'll give you 10 seconds. Now, cross your arms the other way. Most people will note that this feeling is strange that it might make your posture a little bit different, but I want you to keep holding it the other way. And although you've made this subtle change, when you give it enough time, it actually becomes more comfortable. Now, here's the next one, which is kind of a fun one. It's going to sound really strange, but it's actually pretty interesting how many things in a normal circumstance go unnoticed. Let me explain. One of these days, one of these times, whether today or tomorrow or sometime this week, pretend like you're an alien next time you're in a group lunch or a dinner or some sort of social gathering. Just observe. Just look around and take a note of any odd mannerism in the way people sit, the way they eat or drink or talk. It actually sometimes ends up being pretty entertaining Ironically, when you're doing this exercise, it helps you see diversity and it helps you to embrace things outside your norm. Changes, things constantly changing all around you because you're putting more focus on it. Here's one for your journal, the positive and the negative. Write down words that remind you of change, like transformation, training, learning, process change. Then go back down the list and write next to each word a P if it makes you feel positive and an N if it makes you feel negative. This will clearly illustrate how you're perceiving change, which is a huge factor on how we pursue change. If you're feeling more in the negative, See how you can flip the switch by examining the silver linings. As we've talked about in the last episodes, so make sure you go back and tune in. Even when times are super hard, there's always something within the mix that's on the more positive note that can help you push through. These are just a few of many exercises you can try to help not only teach you how you view change, but also help you when changes show up which they will. So if you're taking these steps through the month, awesome. But if you have it, here's another good place to start. Here's some good food for thought. Coping with change. You can reframe change as opportunity, as creative tension. If the need for order in your life is strong, change will have a greater impact on you. Be a bigger challenge. You will need more support, but most likely be less able to ask for it. 
If you are highly open to change and seek it constantly, you might find yourself to be unhappy with a routine. That can also be negative in terms of lack of accomplishing your goals. There is a need for a balance. No change leads to stagnation. Too much change leads to insanity. Discover your own healthy level of change. Take extra good care of yourself. Set strong personal boundaries about what you will and what you won't accept. Put your basic physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual needs first. Check in with yourself daily. Ask yourself, what do I need right now? Be okay asking for help. Create and maintain support systems for yourself when you are going through major changes. These are all really good ways to cope with change. Support, whether we realize it or not, is all around us. It might not be in the traditional sense. You can come here, you can read books, listen to podcasts, reach out to family and friends, And even if you don't have those options, there are hundreds of organizations all around the world waiting for you to contact them when you're ready. You are not alone throughout all the changes life will hand to each of us, but it's up to us to do whatever it takes to keep living a healthy life inside and out. I'll leave you with this quote. It's not the strongest of species that survive, nor the most intelligent but it's the ones most responsive to change. I mentioned last week, but I wanted to mention this again. Can I make a confession? I've been feeling a bit of anxiety lately. As most of us experience the pandemic, I've been in a place of change. How can I change for the better? How can I be better? Am I really helping people through this podcast? I've been wondering if this is actually making an impact, if people are actually listening. Are you out there? If you are, will you let me know? You can leave us a comment on Instagram or a direct message, or even go to our website and send us an email. We want to be able to serve you well, but we also want to know if you're out there. You are important. If you're here, you're here for a reason, and we hope we can keep coming back each and every week to support you. Until then, keep fighting the good fight. It's a